Greetings YouTube, performance reviews where I give the review from the technician's point of view and today we're just going to be doing basic maintenance on a Mila HX1. Now this HX1 has gotten a lot of use uh, from talking to the customer. Apparently this is their only vacuum in about a 2,500 square foot house with pets. Uh, so it's definitely getting more of a workout than it was intended to get. And the major complaint today is that it smells bad. Well, bagless vacuums usually do smell bad but we're gonna go ahead and clean this one up. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart and do a service on this machine. Now this is a fairly new product for Mila. It's only been on the market a couple years. Uh, and this is really the first one I've seen come in for just routine maintenance. I have seen the brush roller gear get stripped out. And I've seen a couple of instances where customers didn't charge their batteries before they tried to use it. Um, but other than that, I really haven't seen much with these. So I'm gonna start by taking the battery off. It's kind of like unplugging the vacuum for a corded machine. And this whole machine is called the Triflex because it separates and can be configured three different ways. So that makes it a little easier to work with uh, than some other machines. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take the nozzle housing, see just what needs to be done here. There is a little thing that unlocks right here and then it has a Lambo door that opens up and the brush roller goes out. Yeah, it looks all right. So many other products are usually made to be serviced and cleaned easily. And I'm gonna suspect that this will be no different. Looks like we have to pull the Lambo door open. Uh, and then that just kind of wiggles around. All right. So that comes off. I'm going to wash that. Um, gosh, there's not much in here. Got like PCB. What's interesting is on this, there's a fiber optic channel running to the light, and the PCB is back here instead of up here. That is very, very cool and interesting. The motor, oh gosh, it's just like Silicone Sally right here. It's mounted. It's a nice shock mount. And the motor and the brush roller are all mounted on the silicone rubber because the brush continues spinning on hard floor and that absorbs the impact. Really a smart idea. Yeah, I think all that is just gonna get washed. Uh, it's one piece. So let's go on to the body of this. Now here is the part that I don't like. It's bagless. I really wish they had made this as a bagged machine. Now that we've done a little bit of central vacuum propaganda, here's the filter that should be changed. And uh, here it is brand new in the box. We'll put that in when everything's cleaned and ready. Uh, so again, we're going to need to wash a lot of this. We're just going to continue accumulating the pile. This is just going straight in the trash. And now comes to the part where, uh, yeah, definitely don't do this at home. So the Mila Triflex is very easy to disassemble in this section. And then there's just like a clip here. So you slide this off and there's like a clip right here and it just all comes apart. Let me grab my tool. All right, there's that clip and the rest should just all come apart. I don't know if it struggles, give it a tap. So there's that, there's this, and now we have the filter that nobody knew was there. Let me pull this apart a little bit more. Pull these clamshells off, and I'm pulling these off because I believe that this little mesh part right here probably has an odor to it, because that is the complaint. So we're gonna pull that off. We're gonna clean that. 
And now we're going to take a look at the little filter, which you have to disconnect the motor. Uh, and that just all kind of sits in there. It even says H13 for HEPA 13. And we have the motor. Eh, motor looks pretty clean. Just pull the lid of the motor off, in case you were wondering. You pull the motor off, and then uh, you can get to this filter. There's a lot of sound deadening on this tiny little motor. <laughs> oh, it's a 20 volt DC motor. It is very small and compact. It's... Yep, that has an odor to it. I'm gonna talk about this filter. Now I'm gonna insert Mila's reply when I ask them on Twitter go ahead and follow me on Twitter uh, about this filter. They said once every three years. So that's that filter. Yep, that is all pressed on and cannot be washed. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen us put a vacuum in a dishwasher before, well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But this is going to take a trip in our dishwasher. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will come out clean and odor free. And if it still has odors, I'll probably run it again. All right, it is a new day and everything has been freshly washed. Let's start putting this thing back together. Now, I took this apart and washed that, but I couldn't wash this little guy because I didn't want to separate it. Um, this is all pressed together. It's really a small, basically power head motor uh, with a fan attached to it. So if you see they're similar motors, kind of a slick idea, actually, on Mila's part. I would be very surprised if this wasn't just the 217 motor, just with the fan on it. So we have a little bit of sound deadening, and then some more sound deadening with some styrofoam. So that gives you an idea, and then this all is going to go like that. Now we're going to see if we can fish a little bit more wire out there. Ah, that's the key. All right. That's how we do that. You can see there's red. so. That's clearly marked. That makes it easier. All right, that's not too bad then. Well, that's just gonna go in there like so. There, it looks like there's a gasket. Yeah, the gasket goes. It is symmetrical. Looks like the gasket goes like this. Well, that all looks good how that should be and that's just gonna drop into this machine and this these tabs are gonna line up with this and then these will line up with uh, part of the side panel so let's push that in all right that is that reconnect the motor wire it's just like so. Now, I dishwash these, but they still have a little bit of an odor, so I put some enzyme spray on that. Just trying to get that clean. But that's how that's going to go in. Give you an idea. You just see where everything just kind of clips together. Just kind of clamshells like that. It really is pretty fast to get into compared to like some of the Dysons um, or even like the little Mila canister. This is this is very nice to get into for something like this. All right, let's go ahead and put the rest of this back together. This slides on here first. For your viewing pleasure. Then this slides down. And this interlocks right here. And we can see that this one was a 2001. Sorry, 2021, not 2001. See those just go there and now we're one piece. We've got this bin, which is an attempt to maybe wipe the bin one more time. Uh, 
like I'm saying, a little bit of pledge on the gaskets will help everything kind of insert and go together nicely. Yep. Do that. Excellent. Uh, I guess it's time for a new filter, genuine Mula filters. And this comes, this is kind of a two part process. You have both filters, and you want to just put this on like so. And then the next part just kind of drops in. I'll find a happy home. Now it's installed. A little diagram on the box is kind of fun. All right, so that's all kind of put together. Set this all aside for a second, actually. Let's get to the power head. Uh, all right, that all looks good. This has got ball bearings, actually, not sleeve bearings, but this part is a sleeve bearing. Um, if you're not familiar with sleeve bearings, they require a little bit of lubrication from time to time. A little bit of tri flow makes a difference. We have a link down below that benefits the channel. I'll also link to the filter down below. So that just goes kind of in the Lambo door. Just making sure that's good. Um, I'm gonna put this fil put this on. You just see how rough all this gets. What's interesting is the light works with a fiber optic on there. So we'll just drop the cover on there. All that goes there. And then if you have the cover in right, the Lambo door should shut. Now I don't have the cover in all the way. This, this one was just so dirty. I guess that's as good as that's gonna look. Let us do this. And for the sake of trying this on the bench, we're just gonna put the handle on like so. Of course, I guess it's not time to put the battery on. looks good. Now I will put the dust cup on. That's as good as that's going to be. Thanks for watching. I'll have a link to your local Mila dealer down below along with a link to this filter that will benefit the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing. Have yourself a wonderful day.